Tip number two is the fear of missing out, but it's really the fear of investing within. When I really dug in deep emotionally, I felt somewhat of a pain, right? When it came to really doing stuff for myself. I felt selfish, I felt opportunistic. I felt as if maybe my efforts would be better aligned somewhere else. And so I acted on that, right? Just to alleviate myself from that type of pain, the type of uh, anger and angst that I was feeling. But I was running away from myself, running away from my dream. And the more I did that, the more I developed angst and anxiety and doubt in what was for me. And because of that, I started to have this fear of missing out. But it was really just a fear of investing within because I would think about all the negative things that could happen, but I wouldn't spend as much time meditating on all the positive things that could happen if I just took baby steps towards my goal. So it was a lot easier to distract myself with everybody else's stuff, and I paid the highest cost for that. And so when I took inventory of my time, I realized that just like a budget, you start to quickly understand where your priorities are. And I was spending all this time on other people's projects and other people's goals, and I was driving from this point of town to that point of town. When I would look at what I was doing for myself, it was very little to nothing. If I was to fill out a timesheet, I couldn't eat off of that paycheck. And so something had to change. And so I just started over. I cleared the slate. I said, you know what? I'm getting rid of people. I'm getting rid of projects. I'm getting rid of obligations. I'm getting rid of positions. Whatever is not in alignment with the direction I'm trying to go is gone. And emotionally, it felt so heavy on my shoulders to do that. But I knew that with the temporary discomfort was going to come everlasting joy. But then the next challenge came, right? when people started to call and would ask if I would reconsider this project or would say, hey, did you get burnt out? Do you need some time to yourself? You know, I can give you some time. And I said, no, 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 it's not that. It's a change of the season, change in priority. And so I stuck to my nose and, and no longer did any compromises or overriding any type of decisions. If it was not spearheaded by myself, I did not want to do it and I was not going to do it. but then people will drop the atomic bomb on me and they will say this phrase, but who else do I know that can do it? You're the only person I know that can do it. And I will fall into that trap. But this time was different. I said, you're gonna have to figure it out. I can't be the only person that knows how to do this. You're only probably saying that just because you're comfortable with me doing this. I've had experience with this doing this. You don't wanna to go to somebody else that you may not have had a good um, experience with, but that's no longer my responsibility. You can't help me where I'm going, but I can help myself. There's other people that can help you where you're going. So, tough love. And guess what? The phone stopped ringing, people stopped texting, and I had peace. Go ahead and like and subscribe. I want you to go all in on your process. I want you to start removing day by day the different doubts, the different limiting beliefs, the people, the things that are holding you back. You can do it. I did it. I know you can do much more. So with that being said, Backpack Kev, and I'll talk to you later.